Hello, everybody. This is the story of my Patriot solid state drive failure. And this is a good end of the story where I get a new one. But anyway, I sent it back to Patriot on October 6th. It is now October 25th, 19 days later. And I just got my new drive via US Postal Service or a US Parcel Service. I'm not sure what that is, but anyway, they brought it and it's a new solid state drive. They did not repair mine. They just gave me a new one. So props to Patriot. Took a little bit long, but it was worth the wait. I'm actually a little bit concerned or not concerned, but I'm a little bit, uh, I'm wondering if they may have sent, have repaired the drive because they never really said no it is a brand new in the box plastic wrapped patriot inferno okay so this is just like the torx it comes with the uh, five and a half to three and a half adapter and the SSD. All right, so here is my new Inferno. Kind of give you an idea of just exactly how they look and how they differ from other solid state drives. My last one had a little jumper pin over here on this side so you could update the firmware inside the drive. This does not have a pin. So I would imagine if there are any firmware updates in the future, uh, it will be via software through Windows. And there is a straight on look at it. SATA power and SATA data cables. It's also brushed aluminum on the bottom there are the pins and it's a nice bright red color sand force driven right on the front of the sticker for the sand force controller and there is how it ends up looking screwed onto the drive cage with four screws through the bottom the drive sticks out a little bit here so you can connect your data and power. All right, so there's my solid state drive on SATA port zero, drive on SATA port one, drive on SATA port two, and another drive on SATA port three. So the first thing you wanna do it's come into your BIOS. And I'm going to set my Patriot solid state drive to be the one it boots to first. So, also with a solid state drive. It didn't used to be this way, but it's coming to the point where you really want to come in and set it to AHCI. So I'm doing that now. Plus when you install Windows and AHCI, you're free to switch back and forth between IDE and AHCI. If you install an IDE, then you can't switch to AHCI without a registry tweet. It it installed from flash drive to solid state drive. I got to the setup screen in eight minutes. 12.34 to 12.42. Eight minutes to install oh, Windows. All my software on my, on my system, Windows on my system. I just got through with Lightroom 3 and that was my last one. So 
I'm beyond the point. I'm beyond the point where I'm going to do benchmarks and stuff like that. It's bad for my SSD. Um, all it's doing is writing to it and reducing the life. Suffice it to say, it's probably extremely fast. So, now I've got four hard drives. I got my whole case full, all but it accepts, as far as hard drives go. And everything seems to be working like well, a charm. Well, it can't hurt to do one run of HD tune, I guess. There it is, the average of 232.9, maximum 243.2. So that's that. You guys have a great day. And if you're thinking about getting a, an SSD, you know, you may want to consider uh, one of these. They are pretty good drives. They're the latest technology. They, used vi they use very, very good um, Intel NAND flash in them and the latest controller. So keep your eye on my videos. I'll let you know if anything goes wrong or if things go good, I'll let you know. And have a great day. See ya.